Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding page with no likes using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook or Meta interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you are given the tables below about Facebook pages and pages page likes. Write a query to return the page IDs of all the Facebook pages that don't have any likes. The output should be in an ascending order. Okay, so basically there are two different tables, pages and page likes, right? And pages table has two columns, page ID and the name of the page. And this is an example of that. Page likes table has three columns, user ID, page ID, and on what date and time the user liked that page. Right. So this is an another example. So if you look at it, right. So there are in the pages uh, table, three different pages, right? If you look at it in the page likes, so uh, 20,001 and 20,045. So they have been liked, right, by the users. But 20,701, this page has not been liked by any user, right? So that should be in the output. Now, obviously, there are two ways to do this question. First thing that we can do is we can find out, okay, so what are the page IDs of all the, you know, pages in the pages table, then exclude all of those which are in the page likes table as well, right? So whatever is remaining is the page that has been not been liked, right? That is one way. Another way you can do this is by performing a join, right? So what we can do is from this table pages, we can join the page likes table on page ID because you have page ID in both of these, right? And once you perform a join, if that page is not in the page likes, right? So it is not a page that is liked by any user, then by performing a join, these columns, right? are going to have null values. So basically what I mean is, so here you have 20,001, right? So 20,001, it, uh, if you write, okay, from this pages table, uh, left join page likes on page ID, right? So 20,001, it will find, okay, there are two matches, so it will populate two rows, right? Then for 20,045, it will find one match and it will populate one row, right? All these values in these three columns. However, for 20,701, it will not find anything here, right? So all these three columns, columns will have values null in it, right? And then after performing a join, we can, you know, make sure that, okay, let's keep only those rows where any of these columns is null. So that means that value was not in the page likes table, right? And then from there, you can just return the page ID, right? So what I'm saying is from the table called pages, right? So pages, uh, okay, pages, let's alias this as small p. Uh, let's left join, right? Let's left join the page likes table. Let's alias this as PL on, right? Pages dot page ID is equal to page likes dot page ID, right? So this will do what I have been describing, right? So it will perform all the join and have all the columns at one place. Now, once we perform a join, if the page ID from the pages table is not present in the page likes, then all the columns, right? All the three columns will have null values. So let's keep only those rows where PL dot page ID, you can make PL dot user ID, page ID, like date does not matter because if it is not existing, it is all, always going to be null, right? So PL dot page ID is null, right? So once we have this, then it will only keep those rows where, you know, this uh, after performing a join, the values in the, these columns are null, right? And once we have that, then what we can do is we can return the page ID, right? The page ID from the pages table, right? Because those are the pages which has not been lined, right? So P dot page ID. However, the question also says that it should be ordered in ascending order, right? So we also need to write order by p dot page id. Okay, this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. So if you look at it, right, so our uh, output is arranged in ascending order and there are two pages which has not been liked by uh, the people, right? Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. 
So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. So very simple question. You can also try the second method. You can also read from the table called pages where page ID not in and then select page ID from page likes because you know, whatever is not in the page likes table, that page is not liked, right? So you can do that. So this is very simple question. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.